back. Ryan has moved back in. He moved back in last Saturday and I tried to vlog this week, but it just wasn't working out. So we're gonna vlog today. Today is Sunday and we're gonna have the best day ever. I've been trying to tell myself that lately, that every day I'm gonna have the best day ever. So starting off our favorite breakfast, which I haven't had in so long. Well, what are you honey? For real? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's almost. That's okay, actually I actually have hot honey now. Okay. We got Birdbird Biscuit, and I guess Ryan got it with an egg and cheese, which I usually don't get it with, but let's see what it looks like. Look how delicious that looks. Okay, we're gonna scarf this down. I'm starving. And today we want to check out the new HEB, which if you guys aren't from Texas or live in Texas, you probably don't know what HEB is. It's just a grocery store, but they have a new one that's apparently multiple stories and it's like insane. There's a barbecue place in it. So we definitely want to check that out. And then I don't know what else we're going to be doing. Oh, <laughs> um, but we'll take you guys along through our perfect Sunday. It's apparently getting a lot warmer today. Yeah, it's actually really nice out, and we have tomorrow off. You do? Yeah, well, nice. kind of. Okay. Between <laughs> Sophie wants to go play. Yeah, maybe we'll take Sophie to the park today or tomorrow. My friend. What? My little friend. Yes, you're out right? You can you can eat your biscuit. Okay, we're gonna eat, and then we'll talk to you guys soon. We just finished breakfast, and Ryan wanted to watch Tiger Woods on TV for a little bit, but now we are heading out for the day, and I want to show you guys my outfit. So this um, workout set is from Light Or. I got it off of Bandier or Bandier. I don't really know how to pronounce it. I tried to look for the set recently, and I couldn't find it, so I'm gonna try to link it. something similar on my like to know it. And then also with the flannel, I don't, I couldn't find this color, but I do know that it's from H&M and there's still some similar flannels on the site. Um, and then I'm wearing some little scrunchy socks from Amazon and then my new balances. While Ryan was gone, he got something really exciting. Finally a car that she actually likes. Yeah. No complain about. <laughs> he got a new car. So I wanted to give you guys a little car tour. Let's do it. From the front first. Okay. I used to have a 2019 Volvo and it's a little too small for me and my first car ever was a Land Rover Discovery so I kind of wanted to go back to Land Rover so I got a 2012 Land Rover LR4 and uh, I love the color. The I do too. White. It doesn't have any of the self-driving stuff my Volvo had which is fine. I took it all the way back to Texas. From Georgia? Yeah from Georgia. Pretty fine so it's a big deal but it has like, a heated windshield. It does have a crack in it. And that it's happened on the way? <laughs> no, this one didn't. I bought it with oh. this one. That one over there, fixed by myself, did happen on the way. My mom, actually, my mom was driving it when it happened. But if you're inside, you can see the little squiggly line from the heated windshield. Yeah. Maybe you start letting yourself see it. Yeah, it's, it's very distracting. Yeah, and I'm not even driving this car. It has the black wheels, the black accents. It just doesn't come stock. I guess whoever had this for me did that. It's just nice of them. Like customize it? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Um, Looks cool. I already had to replace the headlight. By myself. Some of you may think it's crazy, but obviously I know like, Land Rovers are expensive to maintain, but um, I paid 11200 for it, and since I sold my other car for 19000 I had money just to like kind of put into it and fix it up, so I put a new timing chain, I had a coolant leak, I had... The headlight? Yeah, I had this headlight, there's no one out before, um, then I replaced this one myself. And then I had this piece right here. It was worn. I got one of those. What is that? It just stops like water from running down into electronics of the wipers. Once I replaced this piece, uh, the only thing I had left, I had to get new lug nuts. Uh, they were stripped from someone using like the machine to rotate the tires, you know? So I had to break them off and put new ones on. I got them from Amazon. The back's obviously dirty. I need to you know, wash it. But when I had it, when I first got it, these struts right here were bad. So I was hitting my head on it whenever I would have to push it up, you know? What so do you I mean they're bad? I started to sag a little, so this oh. was like actually like here. Oh. Um, did not have to go all the way up and walk out. Nice. Um, but this is still good. Like this tailgate, I think still good. Um, now he has a lot of room for all of his golf stuff. My, yeah, my shit. Third row is seats. Mm hmm. It's really dirty. I don't know what they were doing back here. It was in shampoo, probably. Yeah. But yeah, third row of seats that I probably will never use, hopefully. If God will. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ryan! <laughs> um, um, 
Don't worry, we're gonna get a big ass Cadillac for when yeah. we have a family. Kind of storage though. Yeah, Do what that's it cool. Is. Well, it's for the third row, like the cup holders and yeah. I don't know what else they would put in this, but. That's cool. Um, I do want the little like cover that locks in here so I can cover my stuff up when the oh, summer yeah. went really hot. Yeah. Because there's like a sunroof here, a sunroof there, and a sunroof in the front. Mm -hmm. So I, do, I probably should just pull this one. There, so the sun stays out. When I got it, it was covered in stickers. This is the only one I kept. Yeah, I like it. I can show you a picture of before. It was like the whole thing. This is one of the first years they had the actual lock. You can press, you know, with your button. Um, didn't know there was a sub. There's a sub in here. The speakers are actually really good for 2012. And if you know about Land River, all their wood comes from the same tree. So, whatever tree. In the same car, not all of their cars, right? No, yeah, yeah. All, yeah, in the same car, all the wood in the car is from the same tree. Mm -hmm. Sort of a forest they ruined. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so. Even if you haven't been in a Land Rover in a few years, they haven't updated anything in a long time. So the 2010s look the same as like 2018s almost. So it probably looks the exact same. Um, does have the heated seats. Um, the air suspension still works perfectly. I'll leave mine in just the regular like highway mode. And then um, probably haven't seen this if you're not born in the 90s, but people smoke cigarettes in their car. <laughs> so that still is a thing. It actually works too. And then you know, it's double the double the glove boxes. Obviously, this sunroof is good to go. It doesn't open that wide, but oh well. I'm used to the sound being over here, and vice versa, you know. And now the sounds on the left side, so I keep hitting the wrong button. But it has heated steering wheel. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna go into detail, but it's a V8. I get about <clears throat> I don't know 350 miles to the tank, which isn't great. But it's not great. No, not really. Oh, it's not what my car kind of. Probably. I mean, no, you have a V6, but you get better gas mileage than I do. Oh. And it takes premium, fortunately. It's a lot of gas, but I love it. Kind of overall, kind of my favorite car I've ever had, I think. Me too. Kind of fits my my vibe, I think. Yeah. Look at you. Um, look at you in this. Very cool. Um, back seat doesn't have much use. And at some point, it did. You can tell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they had, maybe the car seats or something. Oh yeah, there's some. But uh, it does have like the heated seats back here and temperature control back here. So, if you ever want to ride with me, it'll be very cozy. <laughs> that wood looks a little darker, which is... Oh yeah, it does. That's weird. Strange. Yeah. I first was looking at this car, it had a really cool roof rack on it. And I kind of want to get another one. The guy wanted to take $1,500 for it. I was like, not going to pay that. Well, how much is it worth? Yeah, well yeah, looking back now, I probably, I probably should have <laughs> bought it. But... Um, I was like, I don't think I need a roof rack, but now it looks cool. I yeah. see other cars with it, I don't want one. Mm -hmm. I kind of think it looks clean without it. Yeah, yeah. I really like mm -hmm. it. It looks massive. <laughs> yeah, if you show on video, the back always looks huge. Yeah. But it's not that big in real life. It's yeah, just, that's it's true. Just angle. It's just the angle. Yeah. I've never showed Sonali this, but it has like full on air suspension. So you can lower and raise the car. So I'm just going to put it in like high drive mode, like off roading mode. That's cool. So basically you just get more ground clearance. You can literally hear the air compressor under it. Can you always have it on? Yeah, you can drive in this all the time, but it would be like kind of wobbly when you drive because it's too high. It is currently 1.24 and I'm getting a little sleepy. Ryan hasn't even had his coffee. I'm actually shocked that you didn't go to Fletch Coffee this morning. I wanted to share this with you. Thank you. Well, we're going to Summer Moon. Cool. I haven't had Should Summer Moon in Austin so Lyberton. long. What? It's an Austin Lyberton. Well, I don't think I can. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't fast enough, but basically someone was on their own. Um, what was it called? Uniwheel? <laughs> Uniwheel? That's what it's called. Oh, I did not know that. Oops. It's not right now. But anyways, um, we are going to okay. Summer Moon, and I haven't had Summer Moon in so long. So you going in or? let's get a little caffeine now. A true test to see if I like this car. Does my camera just sit perfectly? Oh. Put the strap under that's a fail. I know that's what I have to do with my car, but 
I want it to like just sit flat. Oh, honestly, because it probably has that like attachment for my tripod underneath, you know? Mm -hmm. flat. Just got our summer moon. Tell them our order. Do we have the same order? I think it's like the big old. <laughs> Ryan! Um, yeah, I got two winter moons. Winter moon, yeah. And. With extra lactose in it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that reminds <laughs> me. I need to um, do my lactate pills. Uh, I did try it with the oat milk moon milk once. It was not the same. So, I will have to suffer later, but hopefully, my pills got my back. A summer moon is known for their moon milk. Do you even, like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's, uh, melted ice cream. <laughs> so that's say, what we think. No, that's what they read online. Really? The fan theory. <laughs> <laughs> it's yummy, though. I don't, like, I'm not a big coffee drinker, but I like sweet stuff, like the ice white mocha from Starbucks. Like you. Like me. Where are we going next, Ryan? PGA Tour Superstore to get my new pink putter regripped. Boy, you I swear you get something regripped every week. You sound jealous. I'm not jealous, but I'm like, damn. You wish you had some shit to regrip, don't you? <laughs> New grip for this ping butter. Uh huh. I think I told you guys in the car already, but it's all cracked. I have to go to Golf Galaxy now because I want to. I thought you had to get yeah, something no, else. They're out of stock on this ping grip. Oh. So, Golf Galaxy, you can line, they have it. So, we're gonna go across the street. Ryan's golf adventure has been paused for now. He got his thing re gripped, right? I did get my putter re gripped finally. Nice. And I did it while I was waiting, which is nice. Yes. And now we're actually. Um, on North Omar, right? North Omar? Yes. And we're passing this place that I've actually wanted to go into. I said to my friend the other day that I thought their hats were really cool. And so we're gonna go check them out in person. It's called Outside Texas. Gives very much Aviator Nation vibes. This isn't neutral. It's like maroon. This is brown. Maroon. Let's not it's kind of reddish though. Yeah, it's a little bit reddish, but it's definitely a neutral. But it's cute. Mm -hmm. Wait. Wait. You look good on it. We're in the multi level HEB. They have a coffee shop, pharmacy. Look how freaking big this place is. Elevators. I'm shook. Ooh, the car escalator. Oh, there's the pizza place too. They have a full on barbecue restaurant in this HEB. But look at this. That is what I'm the most excited about. A huge sushi section. Ooh, samples. San Antonio Bowl. That fried rice looks delicious. I never thought I would see the day that lychees are sold in my grocery store, so that's really cool. Because in California, they're everywhere, I feel like, but now they're at HEB. HEB is known for their butter tortillas. They're so good. I really like beer, guys, but I've tried this when Ryan had it once, and I actually kind of liked it. <laughs> well, I don't know if I liked it, but... It's better than, like... Beer. Yeah. You can tell it tastes like salt and lime. Which is yeah. Nice. So, Shiner. I have a wine tasting over here. That's pretty cool.
just went to the HEB and it was honestly very huge, pretty overwhelming. They did have a couple, thank you. They did have a couple like things that we don't really see at the other HEBs. Also our street doesn't have like the biggest HEB. I think they're I think there's like H-E-B pluses and ours mm -hmm. isn't it, right? Yeah. It was cool to see like a lot of variety of stuff to get. We didn't really go grocery shopping. We were just going to check it out. Ryan bought LaCroix, of course, because he, he's out. But anyways, we're at the dock and this is Lake Austin behind us. And it's just so nice and peaceful to just like compared sit Compared to here. H-E-B. Uh -huh. Yeah, compared to H-E-B on a Sunday. <laughs> Whenever we're near this part of town, we just kind of swerve in. Just take a little look-see. Enjoy all the boats going out, manifest our boat in the, fu in the future, right? Mm -hmm. Good morning, Angel! <laughs> Good morning! Good morning, you want this? You want this? back home I took Sophie out I fed her and Ryan actually just went to play golf before it gets dark while he's out I'm gonna go edit a bunch of TikToks especially my Amazon one that I filmed yesterday on these pants right here and I wanted to show you guys them in this video because I am obsessed with these pants yesterday we went day drinking on E6 and I feel like these are so fun for day drinking and I've been telling myself I just want to get more bottoms that aren't just jeans I really want to try getting more skirts, but I just haven't really found anything that I love. So I'm still on the hunt for skirts, but these are a great first edition. And they are actually cargo pants, so they're like straight-legged cargo pants. Ryan's actually been telling me that camo is coming back for months now, and I saw these on Amazon the other day. So I decided to try them out for myself, and I truly love the fit of these. This is how I wore it yesterday, and I just wore it with a brown top. I'm just going to put them on again today just to show you guys how the fit is. It's definitely giving me background dancer vibes, especially with the hat I just got today, um, but this is how they fit. These are a tiny bit loose at the top, but I wonder if they're supposed to like sit lower on me and maybe that's why because then they like fit a little bit better but I just love everything to be like super high-waisted on me plus they're pretty dang long I am 5'3 and this is how long they are yesterday I wore them with platform sneakers and they were like still a little too long you could get it hemmed you could hem it yourself I personally don't mind it because I actually like longer pants on me um but these are a close-up of the pants and the pockets on them kind of big. <laughs> I actually put my meal in there yesterday, so again, perfect for day drinking. I'll make sure to link them on my Amazon storefront and in the description box. I was filming something on my phone and the whole screen just froze. And I was trying to like turn it off with like both the buttons, like emergency turn off or whatever, and it would not turn off. <laughs> so I just put it on the charger. Maybe it's just like low battery or something and it's like freaking out. But I thought I would put the LaCroix in the fridge. I know Ryan's going to love me for this. He will literally go through so many sparkling waters every day. And it's wild because I actually just put um, one of these in the fridge like before he got here. Well, I guess that was last Saturday. So maybe that was a while ago. But the other day he was like, where'd all the LaCroix go? I was like, I mean, I didn't really drink that many. We all have like one every three days, but I didn't drink that many, so like, it was all you. I love this hack that I found on TikTok. I mean, it's not like mind blowing or anything, but basically you open both sides and then you just, ooh, ooh that's gonna be fun to open. <laughs> basically you just push your hand through this side and then it just all goes in at once. Please do not judge my fridge, it is a mess. But let's do this. Bam, all in there in like two seconds. Love that for me. I was trying to find a Sharpie to label the LaCroix, like be careful when you open it, but I, I don't know where a Sharpie is in this house. 
you would think I would have a Sharpie. I have like so many random different colored pens. I don't have a freaking Sharpie. Anyways, I totally forgot to tell you guys that this morning I had a tarot card reading and it was over FaceTime. She pulled cards for every like aspect of my life. So um, career, uh, finances, relationships. It was almost like a 40 minute call or something like that. And she's definitely a pro because the way she just explained everything was very easy to understand and everything just flowed and made so much sense. I'll put her Instagram page right here so you guys can check her out or even get a session with her. Um, but it was very, very interesting. If you've never done a tarot card reading before, definitely do it because it might give you a little bit more like direction in something you're feeling a little doubtful about. So for example, I'm just feeling a little burnt out in certain areas of my career. And she was telling me like to keep going cause like it's not like the end of, you know, this part of your career. That was very interesting to hear. With Ryan and surprise, surprise, we're going to get dinner and we're going to get sushi. <laughs> But we're going to Barchi, not one of my favorite places to eat sushi in Austin, but it is kind of easier to get in without a reservation. And also they have happy hour all day Sunday. So that's amazing. But Ryan just got back from golf. I got to kind of get like, I don't know, five holes in before the sun went down. Only five? Yeah, well, when three people play, it takes uh, a lot longer than yeah. just you or, you know, one yeah, other yeah. person play. Mm -hmm. um, but I used my putter that got regrouped today. Oh. It was nice, yeah. Well, did you get some ones in the holes? Uh, I didn't get any. That's a sweet horse. But, um, I didn't have any birdies today, but, um, I did, yeah, I put it pretty well with the, so I'm not going to complain. The wait was 30 to 40 minutes now, so I think we're just going to walk around downtown. a TV show and end the night so I'm gonna end the vlog here but I'm so excited that Ryan's back and I know you guys are excited too you guys love Ryan in the vlogs <laughs> if you guys aren't already subscribed definitely do so and if you are subscribed make sure your post notifications are turned on so you never miss a video of mine and then also I'm very active on TikTok Instagram all of that kind of stuff both of those are so underscore gnarly without the G. So definitely follow me over there and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.